Hey guys, what's going on? This is Easy Breezy. Y'all could be anywhere in the world, but y'all are here tuned in with me. Look at God. I'm going to go ahead and get my hair ready to put this wig on. What I have here is three bundles and a frontal from Oxygirl Hair. I just dyed it and made it into a wig. And of course, I love using my dome cap. All right, now I'm gonna get my sea breeze and a cotton round and go ahead and wipe my makeup off and cleanse my skin at the same time. All right, the glue I'm using today is Ghost Bond. I'm gonna go ahead and just dot it and attach my stocking cap. Got something to say about this kitchen yeah i ain't think so all right let's take our scissors and cut the excess lace off bow all right let's go ahead and place this in the right position so we can glue it down Alright, I'm seeing one thing, it kind of looks light, and mm, I'm not liking that. Nope, nope, that ain't it. Normally, I would tint my lace with a semi-permanent rinse, but today I'm a little lazy, so I'm doing it with concealer. Ain't nothing wrong with that, unless you mess it up, then something wrong with that. All right, let's take our makeup sponge, dab it in the concealer, make sure I don't have too much product, and pat it on the inside of the lace. All right, let's see what we're working with. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and reposition this and see how it looks. Now I'm gonna take my glue and draw my hairline shape directly from the bottle. Now, if you are a beginner with this or if you're not that comfortable freestyling, you can always take an eyeliner pencil and draw the shape first. Okay, now let's get our tweezers and spread the glue. Not spreading too far back because of course you don't want it to touch your hairline. All right, now let's go ahead and allow this to dry until it turns completely clear. Once it's dry, I'm gonna go ahead and take my lace and carefully position it so that it lays nice and flat. Once the lace is laying completely flat, then we can take our fingers and press the lace into the glue. Now we can get our scissors and cut off the excess lace. And you guys know this part is a little tricky for me, so bear with me.
right, the hairline still looks a little white, so I'm gonna take some powder and dab it across the lace. And then touch up my makeup, honey period. Then you can take your favorite setting foam and pump the entire hairline. I like using Tropical Roots by Bronner Bros. Okay, this step is really important. Make sure you actually comb the setting foam through instead of patting it down with your hand and it helps it from getting it on the lace. All right, I see a lot of see-through lace action going on right now. So I'm gonna take my mascara and just paint my roots. This happens to be another lazy secret because normally I would do this with black dye, but shh, don't tell nobody. I kinda don't like it. I think I just put way too much makeup on my lace. I can see the line and now I need baby hair. And I don't even wear baby hair like that. Ugh. So make sure you guys tune into part two so you can see how I do my baby hair, cover up this horrible mistake, and finish off this style. 